and welcome to the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby. And today, St. John, chapter 10, verses 22 through 42. And today, Jesus assures the Jews that he and the Father are one. His good works in the name of the Father attest to this. They want to stone him. Before we get into it, though, let's say our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Lord, we ask that you enlighten our hearts and our minds, that we may learn and understand your teachings and apply them to our lives. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Just a reminder, subscribe, subscribe. Alrighty, chapter 10, verses 22. At that time, the Feast of Dedication took place at Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was walking in the temple in the colonnade of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. And Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name bear witness about me. But you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and the Father are one. The Jews picked up stones again to stone him, and Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works. For which of them are you going to stone me? The Jews answered him, It is not for a good work that we are going to stone you, but for blasphemy, because you, being a man, make yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said you are God's? If he called them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be broken, do you say of him who the Father consecrated and sent into the world, you are blaspheming because I said I am the Son of God? If I am not doing the works of my Father, then do not believe me. But if I do them, even though you do not believe me, believe the works that you may know and understand that the Father is in me, and I, in him, I am in the Father. Again they sought to arrest him, but he escaped from their hands. He went away across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptizing at first, and there he remained. And many came to him, and they said, John did no sign, but everything that John said about this man was true. And many believed in him there. The Word of God. Well, Jesus' argument from chapter 8, 9, and now in 10 continues along. And today they want to stone him. Let's go back over this a little bit. At the time of the Feast of the Dedication, the de Feast of the Dedication was a celebration of the rededication of the temple. The temple had been destroyed in the year 167 B.C. It was rebuilt and it was rededicated. And this is this feast of dedication takes place in the wintertime, and uh, that's the feast, the rededication of the temple. Like I said, it was winter, and Jesus was walking in the temple in the colonnade of Solomon. Now, in the eastern part of the temple, there were several colonnades, and they had a roof on them, over them. And it was here that Jesus was teaching. Why there? Well, it was winter time. He didn't want to be out in the court of the Gentiles where it was open air. He didn't want to be in an open spot. It was winter. He was seeking a little shelter, comfort for himself and for those listening. And the column, colonnade of Solomon provided that. 
So the Jews gathered round him and said to him, How long will you keep us in suspense? I don't know how many times he's got to keep telling them who he is and where he's from. You know, some people just don't want to listen. And they won't believe. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how many times you tell them, how many different ways you tell them. They're just not going to believe. They're not going to hear what you say. So, how long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. And Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe the works that I do in my Father's name bear witness about me. What I have been doing right along, what I have been teaching right along, comes from the Father. They bear witness about me. They bear witness about the Father. But you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. The sheep are his believers. Those who believe and obey. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish. And no one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and the Father are one. I and the Father are one. What one does, the other does. They are one. What one believes, what one teaches, what one does is the same. One. The Jews picked up stones again to stone him, and Jesus answered them, I've shown you many good works from the Father. For which one of these are you going to stone me? A rhetorical question. And the Jews answered him, It's not for a good work that we are going to stone you, but for blasphemy, because you, being a man, make yourself God. And Jesus answered them, Isn't it written in your law? Isn't it written in your law that... Um, I said, you are gods. If he called them gods to whom the word of God came, to whom God gave his word, his instruction, his promises, if he called them gods, do you say of him whom the Father consecrated and set into the world? You are blaspheming because I said I am the Son of God? He called, in Psalm 82, that's what we're referencing here actually. In Psalm 82, he's, he's speaking to the judges of the land and the, the leaders of the Jewish nation. The people who he gave his word to, his law, his promises. He says, you're like gods among men. You're like gods among men. Like gods, not gods. Like gods among men. So, now, and scripture cannot be broken. Infallibility of scripture. Okay? Do you say of him whom the Father consecrated, Jesus was consecrated by the Father, and whom the Father sent into the world, you are blaspheming because I said, I am the Son of God? If I am not doing the works of my Father, don't believe me. If I am doing works for my own self-gratification and glorific glorification, do not believe me. But if I do them in the Father's name, that's something else. Believe the work that you may know and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Again, reference to their, they are one. Again, they sought to arrest him, but he escaped their hands. And he went away across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptizing at first. Probably Bethany across the Jordan. To get there, you come down from Jerusalem, 17 miles along the Jericho Road to Jericho. Another few miles, you come to the River Jordan, if it's across the Jordan, you'll end up in Bethany across the Jordan. 
not to be confused with the Bethany that is only two miles or three miles from Jerusalem itself. Bethany across the Jordan is about 20 miles or so from Jerusalem. And he went away across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptizing at first, and there he remained. And many came to him, and they said, John did no sign. He didn't do any miracles. Remember, St. John, the evangelist, doesn't he really use the word miracles. He uses the word signs for miracles. So John the Baptist did no miracles. But everything that John said about this man was true. And many believed in him there. Well, tomorrow, a dear friend of Jesus will die. Lazarus. The brother of Martha and Mary. And tomorrow we'll read about that. So until tomorrow, have a good day. May God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh.